Thank you, Mr. Speaker. <clears throat> Mr. Speaker, this is Fatima. She is not a terrorist. She's a four-month-old baby girl who's in immediate need of open-heart surgery. Her parents desperately want the best care for her, so they plan to bring her from their home in Iran to Portland, Oregon, to one of the best hospitals for pediatric heart surgery. That's where Fatima's uncle and grandparents all live. They're U.S. citizens. Then President Trump hastily issued the executive order, and the family's plans were brought to a halt. The order is supposed to expire in 90 days, but Fatima's family does not know if she can wait that long. Now, I don't know what the president had in mind when he signed that order, but it probably wasn't baby Fatima. Keeping four-month-old babies out of our country does not make us safer. It puts her life in danger, and it diminishes the United States in the eyes of the world. Now, my office has reached out to Fatima's family in Oregon to be of assistance, but it is heartbreaking and disgraceful that this even happened. I hope the courts invalidate this unconstitutional executive order soon, and I hope it's in time for baby Fatima. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I yield back.